Good morning, family. I hope everyone's having a good spring break. I'm out here in Cancun, Mexico, and this um, beautiful view here. But uh, is it my favorite spot? No. Is it a spot that has some decent prices for all-inclusive hotels? Yeah. And your wife don't have to cook? Sure. Do that for your wife. You know, the Bible says that um, to, to lavish your wife, not to spoil, spoil your wife. And Proverbs and Psalms will tell you the difference between spoiling your wife and lavishing your wife. If you spoil your wife, that means you don't trust her. If you lavish your wife, that means you know that God has given her and that she works hard for your family and that she deserves uh, some nice things in this life. Uh, because this life can be hard on us. <clears throat> but I hope everyone's still producing good fruit and um, fear in the Lord. And so <clears throat> I just let you know the Holy Spirit works whether you're at home in your home state or whether you're in <clears throat> Mexico, you still have to fight the good fight and the Holy Spirit still has people he wants to talk to. If you think you're going to relax and... Uh, <laughs> and the Holy Spirit's not going to talk to people, you're wrong. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, continue to ask God for the Holy Spirit because it's producing fruit for God and it can plant many seeds while you're on this earth and it can uh, definitely help maintain the integrity of the land. If you do not know, this land is getting evil. I went to an island yesterday that I was there six years ago. Um, and it is completely corrupted with just vulgar, nasty uh, souvenirs, things that you would never want your kids to see. And it is just polluted with uh, just disgusting, vile uh, objects. And the people aren't very pleasant either. <clears throat> but um, we know we're living in evil times. Uh, I still recall the dream where I had of um, the the tower, which is an obelisk that was rising from the earth and it was growing. And so I don't know when that's going to turn, but I know if people will, you know, turn to God and uh, trust in Him and fear God, things will get better for that person's life definitely. So let me read you here in Jeremiah. Five twenty. Declare this in the house of Jacob, proclaim it in Judah. Hear this, O foolish and senseless people. You have eyes, but see not. You have ears, but hear not. Do you not fear me, declares the Lord? Do you not tremble before me? I place the sand as a boundary for the sea, a perpetual barrier that it cannot pass. Though the waves toss, they cannot prevail. <clears throat> Though they roar, they cannot pass over it. But this people has a stubborn and rebellious heart. They have turned aside and gone away. Do they do not say in their hearts, let us fear the Lord our God, who gives the rain in its season, the autumn rain and the spring rain, and keeps for us the weeks appointed for the harvest. Your iniquities have turned these away, and your sins have kept good from you. Your sins have kept good for you. Family, you got to stop telling yourself that you're a sinner. Okay, once you've given your heart over to Christ, Christ will forgive you of your sins. He remembers them no more. Even though you yourself remember what a rebellious heathen you were, <clears throat> but you don't dwell on it. You're like, man, God has taken me from a long way. That's about all you say to yourself if you try to remember your past sins. Man, Lord, you have taken me far from the days that I was living in rebellious of you. But your sins have kept good from, from you. Not only is that, how can you produce anything good for God? How can you share the message of God if you 
if you're in sin, if you're in bondage, if you're going out every night, nine o'clock, trying to have a good time, there's a hotel right down here. What do you think the name of the hotel is called? Temptations. And buddy, that nightlife will have a man's sin in his heart and adultery in his heart all day long. <clears throat> so you can produce good. If you don't produce good, what, what can you do? You got those people that Jeremiah, God is telling Jeremiah, do not fear these people. They do not know how to do evil, but they also do not know how to do good. So you got people every day. You say, man, there's upstanding people, upstanding citizens. They do no evil. God says they also do no good. <clears throat> so no matter where you go, try to tell someone every day, hey, Jesus saves or give your testimony. I've already given my testimony three times down here. And it will surprise you what type of people that really God seeks. He really doesn't. To me, he really seeks the uh, the lowly, the sinners. He doesn't go. I don't see him using me really much for mighty men. I've talked to what you would think. Oh, man, are you a football player? I've talked to a few of those. But most of my people that God uses me for are people that are just overlooked in society. They're, they got the jobs that really no one wants to grow up and say, oh, I want to be a waiter until I'm 50 years old. Oh, I want to clean pools until I'm 50. They, he usually goes after them. He goes after, he goes after the lowly people, man. God is good. <clears throat> Fear God and you know that Sin has just retribution, just like in New Testament. Every sin has just retribution. Here in Jeremiah, your sins have kept good from you. Turn from sin, produce for God, and um, he can give you a peace that that uh, is, is no understanding. Will you have troubles in this life? Yeah. Will you have troubles in your marriage? Yeah. You'll have to learn how to how to navigate through your marriage with what you know as a man or vice versa as a woman and a man. Hopefully you're not unequally yoked. But um, I know that here, yes, I'm coming here from the beautiful uh, sands of Cancun, Mexico. And I'd have to say it, it is a beautiful day today. I'm not sure what kind of bay this is over here, but it is nice to be here. It's like 90 degrees. <clears throat> But I wanted to share that with you, that continue to fear God uh, no matter what. When life gets hard and you feel like you can't do it anymore, to me, that is, that is what the Bible says. A righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up. He don't, sometimes it just doesn't go his way for a week, two weeks, <clears throat> maybe even a month. <clears throat> I never had the Lord put me down for a month, but for a week, maybe two. Yeah, it hasn't gone my way before. But if you continue to cry out to God, you're not going to run to the Bible to feel good. You're going to cry out to God and say, what's going on right now? I need, I need your peace. I need your protection. <clears throat> and um, just know that God can use you in a way that you never thought you'd be used. Some of y'all will be lions, and y'all will be a mighty men of valor, valor. Uh, what is a valor that won't give up until you get your point across and some of y'all will, will be able to win hearts through your um your gentleness but no matter how god uses you just know that uh, you know it's important to to bring your bible on vacation too you can't swim all day long you can't my fair skin i can't lay on the beach all day long <laughs> so have some time with the Lord too. He'll renew the mind. He'll renew the heart. And make you feel brand new again. Well, I hope y'all are having a great week. And uh, coming to you from Mexico. And continue to, to produce for God. And know that every year God will reward you. He does reward those. And he does honor you. Here and also Psalms 27. It says, those who protect their master shall be honored. And so when you protect Jesus' name, no matter if you have to rebuke somebody or you have to do a gentle rebuke to somebody, God says, I will honor you for protecting me. 
in this world. So y'all have a blessed week and I'll talk to you later.